actually I went for this party. It was Gautam Singhana's party, and there uh, Atul Kasbekar, who is who is a great photographer, he spotted me, and next day I got a call from him. So when I went, I met him. So he asked me for the Kingfisher calendar, which I was like, okay, sure. And uh, that was like quite good because my first assignment was Kingfisher calendar. And uh, after that, uh, it was no looking back because um, after the calendar, a lot of things uh, fell in place like, um, you know, like uh, ads, print, you are like everywhere. And, um, you know, it's great to be part of Kingfisher calendar. And uh, I remember um, um, Himesh Reshamya the uh, i mean my producer who launched me he had seen the pictures and that's the way the movie happened to me the expose and i'm happy to be part of the expose because after that it's been great see the expose um, i mean when the character was uh, narrated to me it was a very challenging role because uh, it had a gray uh, shade and uh, you know there were challenges like I had a uh, I had a cat fight. Then I had to do my stunts. Then there was one scene I remember because it was inspired by real incidents in Bollywood, like because it was based in 60s and the real in incidents which happened in Bollywood. So the movie was inspired by that. And uh, I remember there was one scene where I had to wear this white sari, like um, you know Zina Taman what. Uh, I mean, what she portrayed in Satyam Shivam Sundaram or Mandakini, you know, the uh, famous white sari uh, look. Uh, I mean, the classic Raj Kapoor look, actually. So I had to do that as well. So uh, it was quite fun shooting for it. And uh, I remember I had to uh, do this cat fight uh, with my co-star, Zoya Afros. So, you know, uh, actually, I'm so happy that in my first movie, I got to do so many things. And with my co-stars, like it was Himesh, uh, Himesh Reshamya, it was Hani Singh, Irfan Khan, Zoya Afro. So it was a big star cast. And it was fun uh, playing Zara's character. That was the character uh, which I played in the movie. And uh, I had a good experience. See, um, in my family, we are five sisters and I'm the youngest one. And uh, my mom, dad, my dad retired as uh, Assistant Commissioner of Police, Mumbai. He just retired. And my mom has been a housewife and uh, being youngest, like I'm the pampered one. So I get lots of gifts from my family, from my sisters and um, my family is very supportive. And um, it's been actually uh, in my family, all my sisters are successful. So obviously, like now it's my turn. And uh, my family just supports me right, left and center. And I'm so happy to be uh, part of a family where it's all women. And uh, with school, um, I went to MIT school, which is in Pune. It's a boarding school. And I did my college from Mitibai, uh, which is uh, in Mumbai. So uh, yeah, this is my family background. See, um, I was into dramatics. so. And I used to participate in my college. I used to do fashion shows so because obviously my sister was a big model. So I knew that, you know, somewhere, uh, uh, you know, acting is there. Like I had these thoughts like back of the mind that I would act one day and which it happened. And all my friends, all my school friends, college friends knew that, uh, you know, I'll get into a uh, glamour industry. So it was very obvious and acting. I was not very confident when um, I should really thank my uh, director Anant Mahadevan who himself is a very good actor and director so he really helped me in polishing my acting skills. See Big Boss, um, I love challenges so Big Boss when it happened to me I remember I went on couple show on comedy nights with couple uh, which is which comes on color so I went to uh, promote expose on couple show and there, uh, I think that's where uh, Color saw me. So next day only, I think in two, three days only, I was approached for a big boss. And I was like, obviously, because I had just, uh, you know, my movie was actually releasing it. So obviously, I would expect movies, you know, movie, uh, movie office. But it was quite, uh, you know, I didn't expect a big boss to happen. 
but uh, i'm a big fan of salman khan so i thought like uh, you know let me just uh, see like whether i can do big boss like what happens inside big boss so yeah it was a roller coaster ride and you know in the beginning actually um, it was a roller coaster and i felt out of place many a times but i just enjoyed the uh, you know the whole process and um, i actually took a risk because uh, you know same year my the expose was re uh, released and uh, after that i went to big boss but uh, you know it was fun it was different and um, i don't know it it's good it's it's good experience and it actually worked for me because i came out with a very good uh, image and a stronger person see you know with me uh, big boss was a fun journey it was different and as i told you i went to meet salman and uh, my entry was with salman and my exit happened with salman so that was quite uh, uh, cool and um, if you ask me about the big boss house it's it's a very different experience because you're disconnected from so many things you have no phone uh, internet family you're off from so many things and actually when i went inside i did not go with any expectation i didn't have any game plan so i don't know i just thought like i would stay for like one month or something but i didn't know okay i'm going to stay for like 15 weeks like almost like 105 or 107 days so about the big boss house it's a mad house and um, all you get to like connect <laughs> is with uh, salman khan and then there is this voice of big boss so you talk to him like he's the only uh, he's the only per uh, person who we connect or talk to and if you ask me about the co contestants about my um, you know inmates housemates so it was like very it was like fun because there were like 15 people inside the house and all like you know everyone from different different uh, walks of life so um, i connected with some really nice people like i am in touch with sushant uh, pranit and they were my like big support inside the house and in the beginning actually because i take little time to open up so i didn't really uh, connect well with my uh, uh, with my housemates so in the beginning it was not that great but uh, like as the days like passed it was good i mean people started knowing me and uh, with the housemates it was i would say like uh, because it's a house so so many things happen inside the house you fight you cry you laugh there are different different emotions so it's like a house and uh, it's like you know the way you stay normally in the house like everything happens so in a similar way even big boss house is like that and uh, it's just that you know you just lose your cool actually i'm reading scripts and uh, i have many offers coming in so in fact i have liked one so i, I think hopefully i'll sign uh, very soon and uh, there are many more projects happening so let's see talks are going on and uh, the rest of the things like i'm busy doing events covers uh, fashion shows so it's going good so yeah it's good after big boss first uh, of course i see the script i read i see my character if i like my character then definitely i'm on because that's what i did with the expose also i mean my character was very strong uh, i was in love uh, with my character so uh, that's the first thing i see in the script and um, after that you know the banner or you know i see the director and if things uh, fall in place then uh, yeah and i hope like uh, i'll get to do uh, some good roles of course with salman khan like uh, yeah because i'm his big fan and he was very supportive you know during a big boss he just loved me so i'm very happy that i got his support and uh, if he offers me great and with um, and of course i want to work with uh, the younger ones like with varun dhawan or siddharth malhotra anything like you know good banner good script so i'm on for it sin fashion uh, for me fashion is like um, i need to be comfortable so um, that could be anything like i i'm always in jeans um, i feel comfortable i like um, you know shirts i'm wearing one <laughs> so uh, i'm very comfortable in shirts uh, tops um, jeans sometimes i like to wear a black dress so uh, 
for me fashion is like i need to be comfortable and um, with brands i i'm not really into brands because something what i like i just pick it up so that's my fashion uh, makeup i really like actually i'm always in minimal makeup because i think i want my skin to breathe so uh, because during shoots you do like lot of things to your uh, face to your skin so um, i think uh, makeup i like wearing eyeliner i like wearing a nice shade on my lips and little blusher and yeah i'm i'm like on them in my purse you'll find um, cold pencil lipstick and blusher oh i travel a lot i love traveling Yes. And my dream destination. I've been to some amazing places. Like I really like Maldives. I think it's a it's a beautiful place. If you want to just chill, like on the beach. If you want to just chill, you can like chill. There are so many things to do. Like you can drink. You can go snorkeling, swimming. Uh, actually, I went swimming with baby sharks. So it's fun um, in the Maldives and. Um, I really like uh, Europe also. Uh, my fun destination is uh, Amsterdam. So uh, th that place like I really enjoy because it's you know it's a fun place, uh, cool people, uh, many joints, uh, there's Madame Tussaud. Uh, it's it's a fun place to uh, you know uh, go for shopping. So it's quite great and I really like New York also because my sister lives in New York. <laughs> I really like Indian and I enjoy my mom's food she makes amazing fish curry so i love seafood and i go to restaurants like ghazali if i'm here i like going to ghazali or mahesh lunch home or pebbles so i really enjoy seafood and if i'm bored of seafood i like having chinese or thai sometimes i like vietnamese also you know i've been single and uh, uh, hopefully i find someone uh, soon <laughs> i think um what do you say a nice dinner candlelight dinner flowers um and yeah a guy should be like <laughs> good looking tall good looking <laughs> someone who like uh, who is uh, nice to talk to and who has a good sense of humor if i get time i like to hit the gym i work out i like doing yoga i was into power yoga now i'm just gymming and i'm losing weight because i put on weight inside that mad house inside big boss house so now i'm losing weight i'm trying to be in shape and um, yeah like i like doing a uh, spinning um walking on the treadmill and i run also sometimes so i like uh, exercising i like working out see you know music is life i would say with me music has been a very important thing in my life and um, my day starts with music so actually i just did one show where i had to sing and i just realized that i can sing actually uh this is a new show on ntv and it's hosted by krishna and the sh uh, name of the show is killer karaoke where you have to sing and they'll disturb you so, but uh, you shouldn't stop singing so that was like the whole uh, theme the whole concept and i just realized that day that i could sing also because i was uh, sitting with this master ji and he said you can sing so i discovered this yeah <laughs> the singer in me my interest like i want to do more movies more films and uh, i'm getting script so i think uh, i'll uh, concentrate on movies and with the tv show i think big boss is a number one reality show and as i said i was a big fan like i am a big fan of salman so that's why i did the uh, big boss and i'm very happy that in same year i got to do both the things i did a movie also my movie was released in 2014 and same year i got to do big boss which is on tv so yeah it's fun like i got to do both in same year and uh, i i don't think so i'll be looking at daily soaps you think so it's that easy to get into bollywood <laughs> i can never give tips to <laughs> because it's not easy <laughs> all you need to do is have contacts right people at right place <laughs> <Yeah>. right <laughs> 
I can't give message on movies like because it's not <laughs> like what to say like what message I, I should give still nothing happens that happened with me that I went for this party and <laughs> please बाहर के लोग यहाँ पे मत आइए बॉम्बे बाहर गई है आई शुड से दैट आई ऑलवेज हैड दिस डायलॉग इन बिग बॉस आई टू से कि मुझे कंटाला आता है मुझे कंटाला आता है सो आई वॉन्ट माई फैंस यू नो दिस शुड नेवर से दिस टू मी के हमें सोनाली को देख के कंटाला आता है सो या so this is my message to my fans that they shouldn't be bored of me उन्हें मुझे देख के कंटाला कभी ना आए